What's up everybody, this is Truth Checker, back with another video, and the topic of this one is the immortal baby gene, and the 2020s, the decade that we're told we're in now, that marks over 80 years since the immortal baby gene experiment, and as we could see from a newspaper clipping at the time, back when immortality and metaphysics were spoken of in the media, Baby's immortality sought in metaphysics experiment. And for anyone who doesn't know what metaphysics is, the law of attraction is one of the principles of metaphysics. Your thoughts create your reality. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Believe, and your belief will help create the facts. There's a lot of ways to put it. What you really need to know is physics is the study of matter and energy. Metaphysics is the study of cause and effect on matter and energy, and thought is the cause. Moving on to the article, in 1939, a secretive cult known as the Royal Fraternity of Master Metaphysicians made headlines when its leader, James Bernard Schaefer, announced their intention to conduct an unusual experiment. They were going to raise an immortal baby. Mm -hmm. Unusual then and unusual now. I wonder why. We haven't made any progress of a race, have we? Well, before we continue with the article, let's find out what we can about James Bernard Schaefer. James Bernard Schaefer was a man primarily known as the founder of a cult known as the Royal Fraternity of Master Metaphysicians and by an attempt to raise an immortal baby. So now this is the second time from two different sources that we've heard James Bernard Schaefer and the Royal Fraternity of Master Metaphysicians referred to as a cult. Let's make sure we're all clear on the definition of what a cult is. Cult, C-U-L-T, a system of religious veneration and devotion directed toward a particular figure or object. Let me repeat that for you. Cult, a system of religious veneration and devotion directed toward a particular figure or object. So, um, you can't have a religion that isn't a cult because every religion has a system of religious veneration and devotion directed toward a particular figure or object. America is a religion, and it has a system of religious veneration and devotion directed toward a mask. What you do is you give your power over to something you believe is floating around in the air. Sound familiar? Yeah. So then you don the mask devotedly uh, because that's your savior. You are powerless against this invisible entity in the air. The mask is your savior. The mask is your religion. That's your cult. Schaefer was born in Fargo, North Dakota. He earned a medical doctor's degree at the University of Michigan. So Dr. James Bernard Schaefer, MD, which the article doesn't tell you, uh, would be more accurate way of uh, describing him since it's a medical doctor. There's people walking around that are chiropractors calling themselves doctors. There's people walking around with um, philosophy degrees calling themselves doctors. You know, this is a medical doctor that's gone to medical school, graduated college, graduated medical school, got his degree, spit back all the information on the test, learned all about the physiology of the body, uh, learned all about the history of medicine, learned all about the placebo effect and the nocebo effect, which has been about around since 1800 and documented. He knows all that, took that knowledge, ran with it, said, I'm going to make sure a child lives forever. But how he was going to do it was um, keep the child ignorant to certain things and then not teach it, and then you, which is which is religion, right? They're going to keep you ignorant to certain things, like ignorant to death, you know, which is eternity inside the sun. But we'll get into that a little later. So now, Dr. James Bernard Schaefer, M.D., also joined the Ku Klux Klan in his search for further enlightenment. So you don't know the Klan, right? <laughs> so he's a guy who ganged up with people that, um, if they don't like what you're about or even like the looks of you, they'll come to your house in the middle of the night, light a cross on your lawn, drag you out, and hang you from a tree and kill you. So he's no stranger to death. But he knew he was a medical doctor, and I don't know why medical doctors... I mean, he, if I got this information, every medical doctor has this information. You know, it's just a matter of how it's presented. 
you can present anything like a joke or anything seriously, right? If, if you think life is a joke, then they present eternal life like a joke. I don't think eternal life is a joke. I present it seriously. People are dying because they believe that they must, like Michael Pace told us in 2009, 2008, when the Book of Life was published. But anyway, back to the article. Klansman, Freemason, and medical doctor, James Bernard Schaefer, conducted an experiment in 1939 to keep a baby ignorant of death and hope it would live forever. The infant that would live forever was blue-eyed, red-haired Jean Gorn. Her mother, New York City waitress Catherine Gorn, had indicated that she was too poor to afford to raise Jean, so she gave Schaefer permission to take charge of her. Catherine Gaunt was not a member of Schaefer's organization. The master metaphysicians didn't officially adopt baby Jean, that'll be important, but they brought her into their luxurious Long Island mansion, the former Vanderbilt mansion, which she needed a couple of bucks to get up into, which they had renamed Peace Haven when she was three months old and they had complete control over every aspect of her life. When you have complete control over every aspect of someone's life, they're your slave. Baby G was given a private nursery where, in addition to a nurse who attended to her 24 hours a day, she was constantly watched over by Schaefer's followers. The plan was to make her immortal by never, allo never allowing her to hear mention of death or disease. Now, we know all this already. This is a key to immortality. It's the major key. If you teach your child to die, you are the one who must die. That's how the natural law works. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The equal and opposite reaction for teaching your child to die is your death. Schaefer knows this. He's a medical doctor. He's a clansman. He knows about death. He gives people death as a clansman. He knows about eternal life. He knows he's out because he already has a daughter that he passed death to. So the best he can do, I guess he figures, is start with a clean slate and try to teach this baby that, you know, he found and nobody wants, right, uh, how to live forever and then he believes he's going to die or he knows he's going to die or I don't know what goes on in people's heads, but I know what the natural law is, and I know these Freemasons, they know the natural law up into the Vatican and every religion, every cult, and they're all teaching you how to die. They're all sending you back inside the sun. So the plan was to make her immortal by never allowing her to hear mention of disease or death, because once you accept the belief in death, then, uh, you know, the body begins the death process until death is achieved, barring any accidents that'll get you there quicker. And again, uh, Michael Page, the Archangel Michael, told, told us all about this in 2009. Join January 17th, 2009, right? Almost a thousand, thousand subscribers in how many years? That's uh, If I had a nickel for every person that went back inside the sun uh, since I found out how to avoid death, I had the tax man say to me, night and day, baby. Unfortunate. But hey, listen, can't help him. Can't help him. Best I could do is document what I know. Somebody comes along and says, yeah, you know what? Uh, this guy Page is right. And then, you know, gives you the link to a book, book right, on the, right on the internet. Right on the internet. Free for the world to see. Right? Easy to read. Fourth grade reading level. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate it. I, I owe you one. So then, they go on to say, nor would she be exposed to any bad or destructive thoughts. No unkind words would ever be spoken in her presence. She would eat an all-vegetarian eternity diet. As she grew older, she would learn about alcohol, tobacco, coffee, tea, mustard, vinegar, and spices, but she would never consume any of them. Well, that's up to her, unless she's a slave and she's told not to, and she obeys. She would receive constant instruction on the group's philosophy, becoming the embodiment of Schaefer's belief that immortality can be actually achieved not as a ghost or spirit. So this is a medical doctor telling you this. Immortality can be actually achieved not as a ghost or spirit. He's not a priest. He's a medical doctor. When she was old enough, she would assume control of the royal fraternity as her immortal leader. Schaefer boasted, I could think of no child outside of royalty who might have had 
who, who might have had a better start in life. Yeah, of course not. Royalty don't teach their child to die. They tell them what's going on in this life. There's Dr. Schaefer with baby Jean. There's baby Jean celebrating her first six months of immortality. Yay! However, despite high hopes and grand promises, the experiment in immortality only lasted 50 months. Yeah, they shut that down with the quickness. In December 1940, the master metaphysicians abruptly returned baby Jean to her parents who were living in a New York rooming house. Schaefer attempted to put a positive spin on the experiments, and he explained now the parents have adjusted themselves and they want her back. In fact, Ms. Gaunt had retained a lawyer who had sent an ultimatum to the master metaphysicians demanding the return of the child. This same lawyer was also representing clients who were suing the organization for fraud. So this lawyer was basically making a business out of suing the pants off James Bernard Schaefer. <laughs> and then this story was in the paper. He read the paper, said, let me get a hold of this lady. He said, hey, lady, how would you like to get your child back in a nice cash settlement to go along with it? Get out of that rooming house, right? Schaefer never signed no papers. They told you that earlier in the article. He went to, <laughs> he went to medical school, not law school. Baby Jean was brought back to her parents' home by one of Schaefer's followers. Schaefer sent along detailed instructions so that the parents could maintain Jean on the eternity diet. Schaefer told the press where the Jean goes on being immortal is for her parents to decide. Actually, it's for her to decide. You decide what happens with your life. However, the Gaunts had no intention of raising an immortal child. They immediately discarded the eternity diet, and the press reported that within hours of her return, Jean was happily consuming prunes of food that wasn't part of the diet. Well, people like to feed their children the religion. That's what they like to feed them. James Schaefer and the Master Metaphysicians. James Schaefer, Dr. James Bernard Schaefer, MD, created the Royal Fraternity of Master Metaphysicians in the 1920s. Although he was the leader of the organization, he called himself simply the messenger. He described the purpose as being the joyous work of helping others help themselves. Time Magazine described it as a theological goulash of Rosicrucianism, Christian science, Christianity, supermind science, faith healing, and how to win friends and influence people. Well, I'll tell you what it was, because I have a picture that the article doesn't give you. What James Bernard Schaefer was pushing on that baby was Catholicism. Because there's the immortal baby with her natural taste, isn't that funny? For Easter finery. So how are you going to teach a baby to, uh, to live forever? And then she grows up and you say, by the time she's two or three, she says, what's all this Easter gear I got on? What's Easter? What are you going to explain to her? What's Easter? Yeah. Uh, so how are they going to tell her uh, she don't have to die if she says, well, how do I get with Jesus who rose from the, you know, come on. <laughs> but this is what they like to do, man. They're only sending you to the sun. Get right with the natural law and you make videos like this. This is the law of attraction. When you vibrate on the frequency of immortality, this kind of information comes to you. So there's your proof. Schaefer made numerous remarkable claims. For instance, he boasted that he could automatically dematerialize persons or things that stood in his way. He also preached that illness and death were caused by destructive thinking. By the late 1930s, his organization had attracted thousands of followers the majority of whom reportedly were middle-aged women. However, there were also in a circle of male metaphysicians who called themselves the storks. They wore diaper pins as label emblems to identify themselves as each other. I mean, so this is just trying to make them look really bad. Um, but again, and a safer try to shield his wealth, the Supreme Court ruled there was nothing religious about his organization except possibly the solicitation of receiving funds. So they go the politicians and government line to you again. Uh, the kid's Catholic, or they're raising a Catholic with some cover story to the people, and then, you know, who knows what they were going to do. But not passing belief in death to your child is the most important key to immortality. Once you pass the belief in death to your child, there's no coming back from that. If you're worshiping or making a slave out of somebody, you could stop. The best you could do is if you already pass belief in, your ch in death to your child, Go back and teach the child that it doesn't have to die, could live forever. All right? This is Truth Tracker. Hey, I hope this was some uh, value to you. Um, all I'm really looking to do is um, get all this information documented. I got a lot of this information. Uh, there may be some videos coming in the future. I just want to get this on paper, uh, you know? So here we are, a mortal baby gene experiment. 1920, it was in the paper, 
uh, you know, they'll act, all the all the medical doctors are pretending that uh, you know stuff's floating around in the air, and we all got an automatic death sentence. Don't go for it. 